Okay, let's check out the cutout. You can see it cuts pretty good. And okay. let's put it on the table. However, you can see the issue is um, it's cutting the wrong direction because it's not the you know the correct direction. So what you do is go to the vinyl cutter. You can see the option called swap X and Y. You need to swap it in this case. So press menu, go down the vinyl cutter equal to the cutter equal to X and let's change it to Y by pressing the you know the arrow here. So save it. Now let's put back our vinyl. Set it up to a new spot so we can do another test. So now to change this option only when it cuts the wrong direction, which is um, it's supposed to cut from the right hand side to the left hand side. If you cut from the front to the back, and you can also see the the um, the lettering is mirror, then that's the time you need to change. You need to swap the X and Y. So now let's go back to the computer. We still have the, the test design here. And if we cut this same design again, start. You can, you can see now it's cutting the right direction. So let's, let's check it out. Take it out. Yes, so that is exactly as showing on the screen. T E S T. Oh, you can see here, maybe the pressure is not enough, but that's that will be uh, maybe too much. But then you can easily adjust the pressure to fix the issue. All right, I think that's everything um, you need to know to set up the Wino cutter. So uh, uh, one more thing I want to show you. If you have a EPS file or EPS design and you want to import it into ArcCut, even though ArcCut is a very old program, so some newer format of EPS file may not be compatible. But if you want to import, here is the way. So click on File, Import. You can select all the EPS file to import. That's how you import EPS file.